so glittery because
Saturday and I'm at Raffles Place area now going to my bar class at that studio Stanley. I got my Yuan Yang Ho thing from Yakun. Because I realize I always forget the existence of Yuan Yang Ho. But then I remember I bought it from Yakun. Anyway, I still think the first Yuan Yang Ho thing that I got last time was better. I feel like um, usually there's too much coffee instead of tea. Okay, we are near Stanley Street. I'm still quite early for my class, which is what I like. So I can just chill while waiting for my class to start. I don't know is it um, I got weaker or today's class was just that intense but I felt like puking halfway through, not halfway, towards the end and it's never happened to me Maybe I'm just weak Today's class was great, like the instructor looked very cute cute uh, but she's very strong and she was so nice like when I was taking my mirror selfies and all then she saw like at the back got all her equipment she was like oh sorry let me create it for you then I was like oh my god never mind I'm just taking it for myself thank you for today, I like my usual exercise days. I'm not gonna go to a cafe and chill because I'm meeting Pins later to go watch a musical. So I'm gonna go home and shower and change and then meet him. Hello, hello. I just changed into the dress I'm gonna wear to watch the musical with Mr. Beans. And I'll show the full dress later because I'm sitting down now. But I'm gonna get ready now. So, first of all, perfume. I'm still really in love with this perfume. It's, it smells so nice, okay? Love it. Why did I just shake it? Okay, anyway, um, today I'm gonna go watch a musical with Mr. Beans. It's called Miss Saigon. So I've heard of this musical before, but obviously I've never watched it. So when I saw they are in Singapore, I told Mr. Beans I wanna watch it. And so we are watching it today. He has an off day today. Yay! So yeah, hope it will be good. And we are looking for an early dinner at um, MBS. PS Cafe because it tends to be a bit crowded so we thought we might might as well go early and also I haven't eaten so I'm very hungry after my bar I wanted to eat some stuff at home but there's no food at home so I'm gonna eat my first meal at like 5 p.m. later okay let me do my brows okay brows done um if you notice I didn't put sunscreen and it's because I'm freaking lazy and it's like almost 4 p.m. now and it's kind of gloomy the sky so there's no sun i know that's not how it works i know like i'm still supposed to put sunscreen but girl let me live i'm too lazy so yeah okay next let's do my lip okay so this is the other color that i mentioned in the previous day previous day's vlog that I said I bought the one that is not so fun not so glittery cause this is like a more serious color like we're not here to play 
no lah, I just wanted something more basic. Like when you when you're not in the mood for like fun glittery colors, so I chose this. Okay, let me apply it because I can't multitask. In case you're interested, here's the color. Okay, let me apply it on my lip and get back to you. Okay, guys, how is it? It was very natural, right? That's the look I was going for, like natural. So when I was younger, right, the lipsticks I buy are a bit more um. I wanna say outrageous, not really outlandish, not really more obvious that's the correct old word so yeah so as i grow older it's like maybe i'm more boring i'm less fun but it's like come on it's time to be serious it's time to be more plain no not really it's just that when i grow older like i just don't vibe with those fun colors as much anymore like i prefer the more like neutral natural colors so it's like, it looks like you didn't really put makeup, but you did. Yeah, that kind of look. Yeah, so this is the color. You can see it's a bit um glistening, a bit shiny, which I like. Like, I'm very into this kind of like glistening colors nowadays. So yeah, that's why I bought these um lip maximizers. By the way, they're supposed to be lip maximizers, meaning like they're supposed to plumb your lips a bit, but... TBH, I can't really tell. I think because my lips are already like, um, not really plump, but they are a bit like pouty. So, I can't really tell the difference, but I like the color. This is very natural. Yeah, and I learned my lesson. Like, I need to apply more so that the color can be seen. Girl, like, stop being thrifty. Just apply more. Okay, next. Applying some hair serum on my hair. Okay. Anyway. I forgot what I wanted to yap about. I wanted to yap about things while I get ready, but now that I'm in front of the camera, suddenly I forget my words. Okay, now mind. Let's talk about my hair then. My hair is really long now. I want to like cut it shorter, but I'm waiting till I go to JB because I'm thrifty like that. And I also want to dye my hair like dark red, burgundy, because like all my life I've had like black brown like brown like this hair the most fun thing i've done is like um deep dye when deep dye was trendy back in 2014 i'll put a picture yeah i kind of regret like not having ever dyed my hair like fun colors like the whole head because like now that i'm older and working in a boring corporate girly job it's like i mean i can if i want to especially now that i'm not in a client facing job but it's just not the vibe like I just don't vibe with having brightly colored hair like personally when I'm working a corporate job so like the most outlandish I've gone is like this hair like highlights which you can't really see now because it faded but like um back when I just did it it's brighter lah so I don't know I'll just go for like a burgundy and most I guess yeah okay I think I'm ready now oh my god no guys I freaking forgot about accessorizing how could I so let's accessorize so speaking of accessorizing i realize i'm a very boring person because i don't really accessorize so and recently i also thought about okay just not about my hair right another thing i wanted to talk about is i realize i'm so boring in the sense that i know it's common lah but like i'm too lazy to like style my hair meaning like using you know like hair straightener or hair curler to like straighten your hair or give it some like you know C curl or like soft curls I did perm my hair before like very long ago and that was before I knew that um perming your hair is not good for you thanks Deepa for telling me if you watch this I learned it from you so yeah I did perm my hair before but nowadays I don't like in recent years because I realized like it's actually bad for your hair so without perming, I'm too lazy to do anything to my hair. So it's just always like this. Like, it's not straight, but it's not curly either. It's just like a bit wavy. Which honestly is weird because when I was younger, right, my hair was very straight. Like, to the point that people thought I did rebonding to my hair, but I didn't. But now that I'm older, right, and I went to Google it, like, apparently as you age, your hair, like, texture, how it looks, it can change, so that's that so yeah recently i was thinking about like 
should I buy like a hair straightener or color to like give my hair some more fun in life but knowing myself I'll be too lazy like I'm just not I wanted to put this in when I haven't taken it out I'm just not the kind of person to you know have the patience to sit down and like style my hair so probably not unless maybe next time when I get my own house then like you know maybe I have a nice little dressing table with like the hair thingy there just plug in because now in my current room the space constraint la so you know if I buy like a hair straightener or color oh my god how did I get for two minutes about this is there's just not gonna be a lot of space to like put it and like I just won't be in the mood to use it because everything is so freaking cluttered and squeezy yeah okay actually my original point was about accessorizing so yeah when I was younger right I don't really have accessories I mean I'm talking about like post secondary school in early lower secondary school years i loved accessorizing i had like a shit ton of accessories like bracelets necklaces earrings like, i love it but as i grow older right and once i was past that age of like loving all those quirky like um accessories like they look very fun and whatnot i just got lazy so like um except for necklace which by the way the necklace is like with me 24 7 365 like i wear it to shower i wear it to sleep yeah, the previous one, well, when, when it wasn't this, my Maddy was like a, another plain necklace that was a gift to me. So now this is also a gift to me, I'm just wearing it because I have no other necklaces that I own, believe it or not. This is like literally the only necklace I own. And I've also been trying to find a new one that I like, but so far I don't like any. Yeah, so back to my original point, it's already 3 minutes. Yeah, recently I've been thinking like, should I like buy more accessories? Like, especially after I went to Tokyo and like all the girlies there, I love how they accessorize, I love how they dress, everything. Yeah, so I thought like, maybe I should stop being boring, I should just start to be more fun and accessorize. So like, other than this one pair of earrings, okay, the other ones you saw me take out again is those that I wear 24 7 do 6 5 wear to shower, wear to sleep. Yeah, so other than these pair of earrings, like this necklace, this bracelet, and the other one I'm gonna put on, I don't own any other accessories. So recently I've been thinking like, should I just buy more accessories and make my style a bit more fun? But we'll see how, it's just something I've been thinking about. And I know you don't care, but I just wanna yap, okay? Okay? Also, another thing I wanted to yap about is if you guys are watching this and if you have any constructive feedback about my vlogging can you please tell me because like i want to improve so anyway recently i okay i don't know if you guys know probably not but whenever i um film edit my vlogs right like everything is on my iphone which is a very small screen okay my phone is like iphone 13 it's not even like pro or whatever so basically what i'm trying to say is when i edit right everything is on a small screen so sometimes like i mean if you guys are watching on like your laptop your ipad or even tv i actually i don't know how it looks like on the big screen so recently okay and i don't i have an ipad but i mean and a tv too <laughs> and a laptop too but i don't usually watch my own vlogs on the bigger screen because i just find it very cringe okay i just watch it on my own iphone where i'm as small as possible but recently i started watching it on my ipad for the purposes of quality control because i realized like Sometimes like what if there are things that I miss out like I'm not supposed to include in my footage but I do then like I don't know so recently I've been watching on my iPad and I realized like um it's kind of different when I watch it on the iPad like example shaky footage it's much more obvious and worse on the bigger screen so like I'm sorry for any shaky footage because I feel in my iPhone so it's like it follows me when I walk and I move yeah so like with that in mind I'll going forward I'll try to be more mindful about shaky footage I'll try to be as still as possible yeah that was an example so if you have any other constructive feedback please let me know yeah and I guess a positive thing is that okay because whenever I edit my vlogs right I will watch it over and over again because like I'm trying to see like whether the subtitles like match the timing whether the footage is okay so it's like really just for like editing i'm not really like enjoying my own vlog 
yeah so usually like i find my own vlogs very cringe very meh like i feel i don't know why people watch it but okay yeah but then like i've been watching my older vlogs the recent ones also la. then like with a fresh perspective and lens i realized actually it's not too bad like i'm just a girl trying to share her life with people online and like just trying to document my daily life so you know when i'm older i can watch it and be like yeah i was young once i went like cafe hopping i went like pilates and bar yeah okay let's go before i'm late okay this is the dress i'm wearing and my little baggy and oh my god today's kitchen of the day my melody from tokyo yeah, this is the dress. Yes, cafe, there's a queue. Came here the last time before our musical tour. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Bean's wearing shorts. Thoughts on people who wear shorts to be locals. Is it appropriate or not? Uh, let me know. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you this trick. It's like hypnosis. Hypnosis. Yeah. Okay, so when I snap my fingers, something will happen, okay? When I snap my fingers, you will forget that you are gay. I'm gay. <laughs> you see your TikTok? <laughs> I'm gonna go drink Rao's coffee which is at upstairs I hope there's not a lot of people I've always wanted to try because I hear people say it's good There's a queue There's a queue
who hires only stepping things to whip out his Guys, I'm so sad. I didn't think there was going to be like a live band playing together. If I knew I would have gotten more fun, no six. <laughs> Yeah, 